let's look at uh, this video square on square roots and this section is square roots by observation it's video number 15 part 2 of 5 I've split the video in five parts and this is the second part it's a square roots by observation let us continue okay, let's continue with the next section here okay next section is about square roots by observations let's continue here continue with the section here for some special cases like square of numbers near base number square of numbers ending in 5 square of numbers in 50 through 59 we can determine square root by observations okay? because we know the square and we can use that observations uh, and to determine square root okay? let's continue here example square of 98 is 9604 so square of root of 9604 must be 98 okay. let's continue here square of 101 is 10201 so square root of 10201 is 101 let's continue here so then let's continue some example here we know that uh, square of 111 is 12321 so square root of 12321 is 111 this is 1 2 3 and the, then fall back 2 and 1 let's continue here we know square of 33 is equal to 1089 that means square root of 1089 must be 33 so square root of 110889 is 333 Square root of one 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 zero eight 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 nine is three three three. Okay, let's continue here. Square root of one two three four five six seven eight nine, and then decreasing eight seven six five four three two one is one 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 one. Number of nines is given by the largest digit in the square here. Okay, one 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 one. Let's continue here. Square root of nine 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 eight zero zero one is nine 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 nine. Okay, let's continue here. Square we know square of eighty nine is seventy eight and which is uh, double the deficiency here and the square of eleven is one twenty one and we need two digits so one get carried to the left so it's 79 79 21 that means square root of 7921 is 89 let's continue here let's look at some of the squares of numbers ending in 5 okay when we know square of 35 is 1225 that means square root of 1225 must be 35 what would we do we split 1225 into 2 and we notice that 25 is on the right and 12 is on the left if you can find two factors of the type n times n plus 1 we know that n is the digit on the left so 12 is equal to 3 times 4 so square root is 35 3 is a smaller number and 4 is one more than before let's continue here of 75 we know square is 5625 so if you need to do 5625 square root it is 75 we notice that 25 on the right and 56 on the left is equal to 7 times 8 that gives me 7 on the left let's continue here of square of 95 is 9025 and square root of 9025 is 95 we know square of 125 is 1 one five six twenty five one five six is twelve times thirteen so square root of one five six two five is one two five five this twenty five gives the may five in the end and one fifty six is twelve times thirteen and that gives me twelve let's continue here square of two twenty four point five is twenty four times twenty five and on the right is dot twenty five that's me twenty five so uh, 620 dot 600 dot 25 okay 
so square root of 600.25 is 24.5 let's continue here square root of 4.5 is 20 decimal 25 so square root of 20 decimal 25 is 4.5 square root of 65 is 42.25 and square root of 42.25 is 65 so what we see 25 here is put in 2 42 on left is 6 times 7 that gives me 6 let's continue here square of 115 is 11 times 12 and 25 on the right 132 25 that gives me square root of 132 25 as 115 what we do is let's continue the split then 2 25 gives me 5 and 132 is 11 times 12 now we consider some more examples here when we are dealing with squares of numbers in this range 50 through 59 okay, let's continue here we know that square 50 is 5 times 5 plus 0 0 is this one here on the left and two zeros which is a 0 times 0 square the digit on the right and in it two digits is 2500 so that means square root of 2500 is 50 so we know square of 57 is 25 plus 7 7 here and 5 times 5 is 25 25 plus 7 and on the right is 7 square 49 is 3 2 4 9 so square root of 3 2 4 9 must be 57 so what we do here is this is a 7 squared and this one is 25 plus 7 so if this is square root of the digit uh, number two digits on the right is 7 and if this is 25 plus 7 then I got myself a square root of 57. Okay, a square of 52 is 25 plus 2 on the left and 0, 4. I need two digits. 2 times 2 is 4, but we need a two digits here. So, 2, 7, 0, 4. So, 2, 7, 0, 4. A pair of digits on the right, square root is 2. And if this is 25 plus 2, which it is, then 5 is the left digit. Okay, continue here. Square of 53 is 25 plus 3, 0, 9, 2, 8, 0, 9. So that means square root of 2, 8, 0, 9 must be 53. Okay, square of 54 is 29, 16. And square root of 2, 9, 1, 6 is 54. Square of 155 is 30, 25. And square root of 30, 25 is 55. Is that 55 square root of 55? You can also find this is ends in 5. So we can use the previous formula. Which is on left is a pi times six, which is thirty. On the right it is twenty-five. Let's continue here. Of fifty-six, twenty-five plus sixty-six on left, on thirty-six on right, thirty-one thirty-six. Then the square root of thirty-one thirty-six is fifty-six. Okay, then square of fifty-eight is thirty-three sixty-four, because twenty-five plus eight is thirty-three. So square root of thirty-six sixty-four. Square root of 3364 is 58. Square root of 58 is 3364. The square root of 3364 is 58. Continue. Square of 59 is 3481. And that means square of root of 3481 must be 59. Let's do some exercises. Okay. Uh, just redo the problem discussed as examples here and make your own practice problems i did not include any exercises here because i included most of the exercises as examples so redo them and take your time that's all for this section okay let's continue here the first reference is vedic math teachers wall manual which is elementary level by ken williams and you can get this book from vedicmaths.org and pdf form is free okay. let's look at next reference now please vedic mathematics by bharti krishna tirthaji that is the primary reference on vedic math that's the original and primary reference and bharti krishna tirthaji is the developer of vedic math let us continue 
Next is discovered Vedic math by Ken Williams. This is the most complete authoritative and book with a consistent notation. Okay, let's continue here. Vedic math for schools in three volumes by James T. Glover. Mr. Glover used these books in his school. These have a very readable and they cover most of the topics, okay, if not all. Let's continue here. Then Vedic Math for All Ages by Vanna Single. This is a very readable book and uh, does not co cover as many topics as the Glover books do. Okay, let's continue.